Hello everyone, my name is Shakar from IT Office. Today I am going to show you how to edit your website. First of all, open your browser on the URL writecomar.edu.iq slash name your English or slash English slash name your department and slash wp-admin. Log in with your account. Click on login. And here is your dashboard. Go to MLS and visit site. There is MLS website. There is the latest news and the photo and this. Go to faculty and staff. I have a tutorial for faculty and staff how to edit and add a a staff i put the link down below on the description and also for news how to post the news i have a tutorial and i put the link on the description go to students and uh, student name i open all the tabs and pages and i show you how to edit them here is the name of students the section f15 students f14 students how to edit them or how to add another section go to edit page and the orange box is used for editing the title of the section and the green box is used for the content of the section if you want to edit the content or add another students for this section you can add it. I'm not going to change any of them and if you want to add another section add click on add section and then click on this section show you the orange box edit you can edit the title of section for example f16 student after that you can move to the top by dragging and drop and click on the plus button and click on text block add a text block now you can write student names in this box or you can copy the name of students in excel sheet or a word document or anywhere you can paste it in this box After that you can preview before updating here is the section that we added and if you go to learning outcomes also you can edit this page on the top there is edit page on each page you open it has edit page on the top if you want to edit any page you can click on edit page you can easily add image gallery lists audio or file any file you can add to the box or writing a text and our prospective and students if you open There is tabs. You can also edit these tabs. Go to the top and edit page. Here are the tabs you can edit. You can edit the title of the tab. And also you can edit the content of the tab. And you 
you can click on any other tabs and you can edit easily when you're done you can preview and after that you can update and if you go to alumni website we can't change or edit in any of them because it's not our website and we don't have any access for editing this page and go to contact page you can edit these all informations and we have another editing edit with WP bakery page builder if you click on this you can edit any of them easily with the interface real interface and you can edit any of them by clicking this edit icon and on the description box you can change the name or the phone number and also you can change the email on the description box between these quotations you can change the email address and also you can you have to change another please don't change this box on the right side and also the map after that you can update or you can cancel by clicking on the X button and the apply button is and the cost is the main website and about MLS you can go to about MLS also you can change this information on this page go to edit WP bakery page builder you can easily change any of them you can change the photo or you can remove the photo by clicking on the X button and you can add another photo in your media library or you can upload from your computer when you change you can save the changes but I'm not going to change this image also you can change the text below the photo and also you can change this paragraph on this box when you're done you can save changes after that close and this number is really important you can uh, edit this number to real number that your department have for example total students how many total students you have in your department you can change the number in this box after that you can save changes and how many students admitted for this year how many students applied for this department is in this year can change the number and how many students accepted for this year after that you can in the next year you can change this date and how many alumni students you have in your department how many graduated and also you can change the slide show images you can remove it and also you can add another image you can select on your media library or you can upload from your computer and show you the below how many images you selected and also you can change these all text on the image on the page sorry after that you can update and close or cancel your changes I'm not going to change anything 
so I close uh, if you go to course page there is a list of university courses and list of college courses and list of department courses you can edit any of them go to edit WP bakery and when you click on any of them or you want to change you can click on edit you can edit the title of this section if you want to edit the section click on the section and edit you can edit this information the course code or any of them and if you want to add another section it is much easier to duplicate one of the section click on the duplicating icon duplicate the section and after that you can edit this that you duplicated example new course save change look it changes the section new course and also you can change the course code or credit hours or the prerequisite courses or course description you can change it You can change any of them, you can edit easily. And if you want to add a course in list of college, you can duplicate in one of the section of them. And leave this. You go to admission page, send you to the admission website and also you cannot change this because it's another website and if you go academic flowchart send you to academic flowchart it's useful for the visitor to link them to academic flowchart if they want and if you go to the bottom it's the footer and it's all the useful links you can visit in faster way if you go to gallery show you all the image that you post in your news or activities it added to here automatically if you click on any of them show you the image larger or bigger